He was having it. Uh, we're back again on Fight Island a uh, second time. I mean, give us give us a feel. Does it, does it feel different this time around? Are you feeling more comfortable? Or? I'm a bit more comfortable, yeah. It took me a couple of days to get into it, but it did last time. So just with a, a time difference and the different climate, different people around and stuff, but I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. Very nice. The first result obviously couldn't have gone much better for you. Uh, I mean, what do you take out of a performance like that? Does that boost your confidence or your self-belief? Or, I mean, what, what did you take out of it? Um, I knew I could do that anyway. I knew I can compete at the highest level. I know this guy who I fought last time wasn't at the highest level particularly, but I knew that I could beat UFC caliber guys because I train with high level guys and I have done for years. So um, I always believe in myself. So it wasn't really a surprise for me, to be honest. Yeah. Obviously in this matchup, you, you get you know a newcomer, a late change. Does, mm. does that change anything for you in your approach? I mean, a guy that I'm assuming you probably don't know that much about. No, I don't. I barely know anything about him. Um, I mean, he's got a completely different style to the guy I was supposed to fight, but at the end of the day, this is heavyweight MMA, and you can you can have a general idea of what your opponent's going to do, but you never really know until you get in there, so you've got to kind of react and, and act on the job sometimes and, and just react as it goes, so a fight's a fight, so what can you do? Yeah, I feel like you created quite the buzz for yourself the first time around, so what's the goal here? I mean, is it just about notching another win, or do you feel like... You know, you do something special. Maybe people are talking about you, you know, shooting up the division. No, the goal is to go in, enjoy myself, and do the things that I've been working on in the gym. Perform the way I do in the gym. Better than I do in the gym. And that's it. I'm just about learning at this point. I'm not about jumping up too quick. Not trying to do anything spectacular at this point. I just want to learn, enjoy it, and uh, just find my feet, get my foot in the door a little bit. And I've got another 10 years at this, so I'm not in a rush. Yeah, fantastic. Last thing for me, how do you see this one playing out when you visualize it? I mean, do you feel like you can go do what you did last time? And you Yeah, know? I mean, I'm always dangerous, mate. I've got some serious power in my hands, so um, I can knock anyone out at any time. But at the same time, I've got the skills to and the cardio and, and stuff to go three rounds, no problem. So I'll just take whatever comes. I know that's a boring answer and everyone says it, but <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. You, uh, you called for Spillac yeah. last time. So were you actually disappointed when he fell out? Yeah. Well, not to disrespect Spivak, but it's hardly like a name that people go, oh my fucking God, Spivak. Yeah. Like, what was it about him that you really wanted to fight him for? Um, just because he got a win. At like the, I think it was a few days or the week before I won. So I just thought, he's an up-and-coming guy. I'm an up-and-coming guy. We're both around the similar age, similar records and all that kind of stuff. And I just thought, why not? So And I just prepared for him for like eight weeks. So obviously I wanted to fight him because I've prepared for him. Yeah. But it's not happened, so what can you do? What is the emotion when you get the call that he's out? For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> That's the emotion. Yeah. So this time round, are you looking at other heavyweight fights to, to do the same thing? Like if I win, say like Taito Ibasa wins, would you could like look at him and be like, "That's a person," or do you just take it as it comes? Yeah, I mean, I'd like I'd like to get the Spivak fight on again, and I've got a couple more guys that I've. Um, I'd like to get the Spivak fight on again because uh, I've just done a full training camp for him. He's done a full training camp for me. Why not? And there's a couple more guys that are fighting. Uh, a couple of heavyweights who have already fought, a couple more heavyweights to go. I think there's three heavyweights on this card, a couple more heavyweights next week and the week after, so there's a lot of options. Is the best case scenario then go in, finish this quickly, and then get the spin back fight as quickly as you can, considering you both are coming off the camps for each other? Um, I don't know, yeah, probably. Or maybe not, I don't know. I'm going to see how I feel. Okay. See how the fight goes first. How you doing, Tom? What's going on? So. I know one of your heroes is Prince Nassim, right? But I also know one of your heroes is Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What is it about Gordon that you'd love so much? Have you ever watched one of his programmes? Yeah. Well, does that not explain it? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just funny. He's just entertaining. You know, I just on the plane over here, you know, you got your little TV in front and you got a little search thing. The first thing I searched was Gordon Ramsay and there was one programme and I watched a 45 minute programme. Uh, I just like him. I just think he's funny. Yeah, he's entertaining. Uh, well, lastly from me, how sparring with Tyson Fury? What's that like? Uh, it's an effort. It's tricky. He's, he's just a, a tough person to spar because he's all over the place, but learned a lot from him. And uh, just try and, try and learn from any, anyone I spar, not just Tyson Fury, you know what I mean? You can pick up stuff from everyone. So, um, yeah, just try and learn as much as I can from whoever I spar. But obviously, having like a, a dominant heavyweight champion in the world, you're always going to learn stuff off someone like that, so it's just good to get them kind of opportunities. Is there anything you can share that you specifically have learned from him? I've learned a lot about how to control your mindset 
from him. Not so much, te- obviously, you're going to pick up technical stuff, but you know, before I went sparring with him, I used to take, um, I used to take fighting very serious. And it was like a life or death thing if I didn't do good. Like, my head would go and I wouldn't be happy for, like, I wouldn't be happy outside of training as well. So, uh, just being around him, he just took everything dead easy. When I, when I first started sparring him, he had a lot of, like, uh, big American guys into sparring, they were all trying to kill him and stuff. And he was just, he was just having a laugh. Like a puncher whizzed by his head and he'd just go, oh, that was close. Like he'd just do that mid spar and I just thought, you know what, I just love the way he's relaxed and just enjoys himself. And then I just started relaxing and enjoying myself and it just kind of rubbed off on me. And then since I started training like with him and seeing what he was like day in and day out, I feel like that just completely changed my mindset to the way I look at fighting in general. So uh, obviously I learned technical stuff as well, but it was more like the mental side of, of stuff and how a, a proper champion like that operates just changed my uh, mindset on everything. Right, cool. Did, uh, does watching Gordon Ramsay inspire you to cook? Uh, for me to cook? Yeah. I have a go at cooking, but... <laughs> Do you stick him on in the background? Uh, yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not the best. Like, I can cook for myself, but I'll just make it all right so that I can eat it. Like, I can't cook for anyone else. For what it's worth, he has, like, recipes on YouTube. Does he? I've never seen him. Just check him out. I just, I just watch him... Pu- I watch him purely for entertainment, not for, like, cooking stuff. Just because I like him. What about Prince Nazim? Uh, drives you on? Um, everything, everything. I just think he's amazing. I just think, uh, just his, just confidence mainly. Just his confidence, like how you can be that confident in front of that many people after you've talked so much shit is just unbelievable. And I just think I'm just so inspired by that confidence, and I want to, I want to try and take that on myself. Have you ever met him? Never met him. I'd love to meet him. I say that, but then, what do you say when you meet these people? Big fan. <laughs> I, don't, I never know what to say, so. Um, he's a heavyweight, man. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> you think he's like five foot six and the same weight as me. <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a massive fan. People compare you to Frank Mir, obviously. Yeah. Did you feel back from Frank recently? Yeah, uh, well, he messaged me. Um, he tagged me in a couple of stuff because... Um, he, just like having a laugh and stuff after after my fight, but I don't know him personally, but I like him. I do like him. But now I've not got the curl, the curls have gone a little bit, so maybe I don't look as much like him anymore, hopefully. But he's a good looking guy. I'm not saying that I don't want to look like him, but he has got 15 years on me, so I want to try and look a bit younger. Going to bare knuckle boxing now. I know, what's that all about? How much is he getting paid for it? That's what I want to know. Probably a lot. I'd be interested to see it. who's he going to fight. Who, who is like around in Burnham Boxing? Either way, it won't look like you for much longer, probably. I'd be, what, what are like, um, what are the rounds? Is it like five twos? Yeah, no, I don't even think it's, yeah, I think it's five twos actually. Interesting. I know they were talking about Shannon Briggs fighting in, that would be interesting. Frank against Shannon Briggs. I'd like, I'd watch it, I'd watch it. Anything else, guys? That's it, cool. right. that's it. Happy days, thank you.